Hello familia, welcome to another YouTube video. Dressed like a, like a banana today because I'm celebrating my birthday. I'm turning 25, a quarter of a century. Can you imagine guys, a quarter of a century? I'm basically ancient already, but it's fine, let's just leave it. Do you know what you could do to make me feel happier and better about this? You could like and subscribe to my channel as a present as well, because I mean, it's my birthday, so you know, it just makes sense to give me a gift. You know what I mean? It doesn't cost you anything either, so I'll just do it. Anyway, today is going to be, I'm just gonna take you with me at the gym to show you my full leg workout. I've done a couple of different things since the last one that I posted. Um, now I'm tracking my weight more precisely. Um, I actually downloaded a free app that is called Strong. It's like literally just called Strong, like my biceps. No jokes, it's like literally not even. <laughs> um, it's stronger than my biceps for sure. Actually at the moment what I'm doing, I'm working towards getting stronger. So I'm really pushing myself with progressive overload. My clients are actually inspiring me and they inspired me to do so. Just because I'm doing so many check-ins and so much, uh, I'm talking so much with my clients, I'm seeing them progressing and they're motivating me so much. So I decided to do the same to myself because I'm doing it to them and for them. So why am I not doing it with myself as well? So I'm holding myself more accountable. Um, and by the way, if you want to start the same thing that we're doing, and both me and my clients are doing, link in the description below and we can start online coaching together and we can do this together as well. Um, but yeah, they just inspired me so much and I decided to do it in my sweat as well. So I gave myself an online coaching plan that obviously I created as well. Like, just my, my, made myself a plan um, and I made sure that I'm sticking to it. So um, that's going to be one of the sessions that I'm going to be showing you today as well. I would only try to strive for improvement every single time and sometimes it could be the rep that I could do an extra rep more or maybe two or three and next time maybe I could do an extra set or next time I could add 2.5 kilos on each side and make it heavier so you see progressive overload doesn't just mean that you're progressing with weight and of course you want to aim at that but um, it's also the reps so if one day you can do five reps of 100 kilos and next time you train you can do six reps of 100 kilos or seven that's progressive overload too so um yeah and also not never never less to say that obviously like consuming my calories are helping me because at the moment i'm um consuming high in my diet is high in carbs loads of calories for my little belly here <laughs> I'm a little preggle at the moment <laughs> but um, it's also about getting comfortable with being on a surplus because I know that some people can get a bit uncomfortable with gaining a little weight around the stomach um, but that's completely fine because it's just for a short um, amount of time um, just to give you enough time to really grow and put on mass because we can't just pick and choose where to lose weight but also we can't just pick and choose where to gain weight as well so I can't just tell my body look I just want to gain in my glutes and that's it obviously I need to acknowledge the fact that I will gain weight as well around my waist okay and I'm a little belly as well but that's fine it's only temporary it's about getting comfortable with a surplus and um, because then I'll be cutting again so it's about this anyway um, but yeah now I feel like I'm just chatting a lot I always like to chat to you guys a lot um, but yeah let's just go straight into the session also later on very exciting I'm going to body but not body power I'm going to say the Arnold's um, event um, which is like a fitness expo where all the different people fitness loads of people will be there so I'm actually taking the train to Birmingham this weekend with my friends so that will be lovely and um, so I'm like sure if you want to see that just stick towards the end and I will take with me but yeah you know let's try now let's go try there is no research that backs up whether a warm-up should be nece necessary or not however it's down to everyone's preference I personally feel like that when I warm up I can engage my glutes better okay so I was like to start with my lovely fire hydrants if you guys know this
okay so we're gonna head down and we're gonna start with some lovely squats if i'm gonna do barbell squats um my split is slightly different at the moment so what i do and normally i well at the moment i do legs three times a week the first uh, leg session which is today actually i do full range of motion squats on the second day i would do box squats and yeah on the third day i'll do box squats again so um i just rather work on the full range of motion ones as well just to switch it up a little bit so um just wanted to talk to you very quickly about the progressive overload thing so for example last time i started with 45 kilos and i did 20 reps um and this time instead i'm going to start with 50 kilos but i'm going to do less reps so i'm going to aim for 15 if i can manage um, also another thing, um, you will know that you'll see me wearing a gym belt as I progress with the weight but I don't want to start straight away just because when you wear a gym belt basically your core, it, because it gets squeezed so tight it basically gets deactivated so it's just good to keep your core engaged um, while you do some of the weight so usually for the first set I'll never wear a gym belt and then from the second, third and fourth set I'll always add it so yeah, so that's an example of progressive overload. I'm gonna start with 50 kilos, see how it goes. I need to wear my headphones as well because I can't train with no music. Let's see how it goes. There's actually burns to do 50. Right, I'm adding a belt because I'm going heavier now. And I feel like it just does make a difference when you go a little bit heavier because it gives like more support. So last time, so what I normally do, I always check my app. So last time when I did 65 kilos, um, I did 12 reps. So I'm going to try and do 13, so let's see, progressive overload, that's what I mean. So let's see if I can manage to do that, um, but it's going to be heavier, so we will see. Because I think 12 reps last time was a bit of a push, but PMA, positive mental attitude, okay? Let's see if I can do 13 this time. Fourteen. Okay. Super set. I'm gonna feel sick. So, apart from the fact for me being out of breath, that's progressive overload. I managed to do fourteen reps. I started at twelve, so I'm quite pleased. Oh God. So you also see that towards the end, the form was getting a bit more sketchy. And that's normal because it's heavier than what I usually do. I'm doing quite a few reps as well. Um, progressive overload next time could also mean keeping the same, whew, keeping the same amount of uh, reps, but perfecting my form a little bit. Okay, so that's also part of your progression too. But I think I'm gonna go heavier. I'm just about to attempt a PB. Um, my heaviest on full range of motion squats has been 
80, let me just check, that's when you actually need the app, you know what I mean? So it's been 80 times 7, so I've done 7 reps of 80, now I'm trying 85, um, but because I'm on my own and no one can support me and probably I don't know whether I'll be able to do as many reps, I added, you see how, how high these are, these are like safety bars that are there to help you in case you can't support the weight, so what I would do in case it happens, I'll just release it on the air. Okay, so I'm just gonna try this now. Um, but it's literally so much better. Um, if you ever feel like you wanna go heavier, you're on your own. Just make sure you use those. I'll take that. You'll notice that as you start going heavier, your form will be not as good. Um, but that's what you don't do as many reps as well, because I don't want to risk injuring myself either. So um, 85 is good for me. I actually hit a PB last week when I did box squats and I should do 100, which I haven't been able to do in a while after being on holiday, because my strength kind of decreased. So. It's fine, 85 is good, considering I'm doing it on my own, so um, what I'll do for the last set, I'll just decrease the weight and then onto hip press. Today I'm feeling a bit braver, maybe because I'm filming for you guys, I don't normally go so heavy at everything. Um, I'm trying another PB, <laughs> I feel like I'm on fire. By the way, I don't train like this every time, um, I don't strive for PBs all the time, but it's been a while since I haven't tried and gone heavier on uh, my hip thrust, so. <coughs> <coughs> Starting great, already choking on my own saliva. Um, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and lift this. This is 220, yeah, 220 kilos, which is an absolutely PB ever that I've never lifted in my whole life. Um, Never, I don't know how this is going to go to be fair, I might fail because I've just done a PB with a squat so it's not ideal to try go heavier after you've just done a PB with another exercise straight away it's normally not a great idea but I'm here to be honest Okay, so I'll give this probably a 6 out of 10, not great, not the best, but it's good for my first attempt. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to significantly go down in weight and start doing more reps. That's enough for my heaviest. Um, wasn't the best, but we'll work on improving. Next time I'm going to try and just hold it a little bit higher. But yeah. Still quite good that I managed to lift it off the floor, so we'll work on perfecting it on the next few weeks. Um, I'm doing 170 kilos, so I decreased the weight dramatically just because I want to be able to do more reps. Remember, if you're doing less reps or you're going so heavy, you're working towards your strength, but I also want to grow my glutes, so um, we need to make sure that you do at least eight reps for growth. That's the rule. So in order to do it at reps, I need to really decrease the weight. Um, so I brought it down to 170 now. Last time I did 170 was 12 reps. So it would be good if I could do 13, um, just to push myself a little bit more. But let's see. Set. Whew. 
Det ser ut att det är Decrease the weight one more time and do 15. Um, but I'll see you on the next exercise because I'm running out of battery. After my hip thrust, so another thing that I changed actually that I wanted to talk to you about was um, the order of my exercises. So before it used to say hip thrust at the end, but I actually thought about it and actually if I did them before my other exercises, it'll be stronger, I'll be able to lift heavier. So I don't know why I never thought about it before, but I always thought if I save them towards the end, then my glutes will be already quite activated and then like, I don't know, they'll engage more throughout like the movement. Anyway, um, I don't know why I used to do it at the end, but it's fine. It actually works out better doing them as my second main compound exercise. So um, what I've got now, this is quite an isolation exercise. Um, what I'm going to do, they're called reverse hypers. So you just use a bench and obviously the position is honestly like really awkward. Um, but you just got to do what you got to do if you want games, okay? <laughs> it takes a while to like get in the right position. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do three more sets of this. There's no need of me like showing you really. It's gonna increase the weight probably five on each side. I keep it that way for the rest of the sets as well, just because I don't want to go any heavier after all my PBs. So I'll finish this and then I'll see you for my isolation exercises. Last exercise. Um, we are going to do some isolation. So we're going to be targeting our gluteus medius and minimus aka um, so really nice and simple put the way down and bring it back <laughs> just give <it> some <laughs> now doing my finisher by finisher means it means that we're finishing. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna do this isolation exercise. I'm gonna target our gluteus medius in an external rotation. Actually, it's an external rotation exercise. Um, and after this, I'm just gonna be stretching very quickly because it's important for your mobility. So nice and simple. I'm just gonna do three sets of this. And now we stretch um, just um, need to do it more often because to be, to be fair I tend to like skip it but it's so important remember as well guys this kind of stretching you do this at the end not at the beginning it's really important you never do static stretches like this at the beginning because it will affect your performance really important for your mobility otherwise your joints will tend to suffer when um, when you're older so and of course today i'm acknowledging the fact that i'm 25 so i need to start looking after my body a little bit more i'm a quarter of a century basically already so just have to make sure but anyway guys i'm gonna love you olivia but again make sure you subscribe um to my channel as a birthday present and i hope you have a lovely lovely rest of the day and i will see you very soon So, <laughs> we're just at the station at the moment. I'm here looking like a disgraceful mess because oh. I've literally just been to the gym and I had no time. We were rushing like crazy people. Yeah, I'm still in my work before. Yeah. Just getting some food at the moment um, before the journey. <laughs> that looks good. I'm solo. Right, guys. I'm literally in the train. It's only, it's only us in the train, isn't it? Say hi to the familia. Introduce yourselves, that's my sister Abby. 
Well, not really my sister, but basically kind of my sister. Oh, Freakishly and um, similar. Adopted um, at birth. Wow. We're well, literally the same person. Literally inside. the same person. <laughs> <laughs> on the inside and on the outside as well. Don't we look similar, guys? What do you think? I mean, I'm a little bit more tanned than. Yeah. <laughs> your, your Kiara's ghost. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Patrick. He's like, no, never mind. We're doing, we're oh, just going to. Oh my god, I'm just literally talking to them. To the familia. Say hi. Hi for me. What are you doing? Look, he's abusing me, guys. Do you want to? Do you want to witness there? What's he doing? He abuses me twenty four seven. I get all these like hate mail, <laughs> Right, his Instagram. If you want to give him some abuse back, his Pat dancer. Diet Coke. They give me the wrong burger. <laughs> We've been waiting like half an hour for our orders, yeah. by the way. And at the end, you got no, the wrong burger. Yeah. What do you get? This is a bacon double cheeseburger XL. I ordered a Whopper. So I got. Oh, very miserable portion of <laughs> chips. As long as he's not bloody avocado I because I'm chips. allergic. Huh? I've got large chips. Oh, oh, they gave me the wrong order as well. No. Mm -hmm. oh, it's fine. I've only got like basically the same as your as you, like a chicken royal. But they charged me for the chicken bacon one. I've got complete one order. Thieves. Thieves. Absolutely absurd. It's actually quite nice. I'm glad I've got to tell you, you were talking you were saying, you know when you were doing that um Oh ages... what is this? Chili cheese bite. Look kind of great. They look disgusting, by the way, guys. Look at this. <laughs> well, you know when you were doing that thing ages ago when you were doing hip thrusts off of the um, the um, poly box? Thank you, Patrick. You're a gent. Taking one for the oh, team. Really? Oh, 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 oh. We might have to blur that for the camera. <laughs> Gonna be flagged out on YouTube. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. That's like we just wit witnessed the first time of Patrick being nice. You're literally on camera. Look, what are you doing? Patrick! <laughs> You're on camera. You're literally... He's literally like 12. Oh, downstairs. At the moment, we're just having some breakfast. We're just in a hotel um, with my empty cups. Um, there is like a buffet breakfast um, we're going to have. And then literally, we're just going to head to the event straight away. So it's exciting. Um, I'm just going to have some food now and I will see you there directly. So I don't know actually if I haven't even told you where we're going. We're going to this Arnold's. Um, Arnold's event, I guess. It's like a fitness event, I suppose. But yeah, um, I'm just kind of, they had a spare ticket and I thought, yeah, I'll just come along and it'll be nice to just take you with me if it makes sense. But anyway, I'm just kind of hungry now, so I'm just going to go and get some food and I'll see you directly there. So just arrived at the venue, guys. Um, so at the moment, we're just literally trying to find the entrance. Um, we walked to the place to get some steps in. We ended up get into like a secret passage we don't have to queue because apparently there's two entrances and one the other one has got like 200 people queuing and we managed to get to this one when there's literally no one so that was quite lucky so basically we went VIP by mistake without even noticing what are you saying there Patrick sorry what are you saying what do I say what are you saying what am I saying yeah, about what, are you what? Saying? What, the event? Are you excited? Yeah, I mean, when we finally found it, I'll have to get lost. So, who did you pay to see? Who are you going to see? Oh, we've seen Khabib. Who's that? Uh, UFC Fire. Oh my god, I know every, everything about it. Can't wait to meet him as well. Can I meet him? No. Why not? Because you, you have to pay to meet him. Really? Yeah. Well, how much did you pay? Can't remember. Oh yeah? <laughs> Guys, can you hold it to my level, thanks. <laughs> Okay, so it's absolutely packed, as you can see. I don't know if you can even hear me. I'm just going to get close to the camera so they can actually hear what I'm saying. But overall, we had to wait for like how long? Like 20 minutes. It was absolutely longer than that. It was really badly organised, I have to say. We got like standard tickets, but it was like a mosh pit. Yeah, so we were waiting for ages, and I don't think they cared about COVID a lot <laughs> at all. We were all like together, like sardines, squeezing in, just waiting to get in. So literally like sardines, like all together, weren't we? So it wasn't that great, but we're here now. Um, this, I don't know, I feel like first impression, it's just like those random little stalls. You don't really get many stuff for free, so. So far, what do you think, Patrick? Well, What's your opinion? I've already been wrote to subscribe £5 a month in somewhere. Exactly, so. he's, already like, <laughs> he's already signed up for the WWF 
something. <laughs> Which is a good call, so well done for you. But yeah. I felt guilty because the guy was stood on his own. I know. I know. Bless him. No one was paying attention to him, so that's why. But at least we did something good. Well, Patrick did something yeah, good. Yeah, I did something good. So well done, Patrick. <laughs> but yeah, what we're going to do, we're just going to like check out all the different stores and just sell like different protein supplements and the different little things. Next here is our open class, class A. Okay, so guys, a um, little update. The event was okay. Um, it was definitely interesting. Um, it wasn't too bad to be fair. It was just a little bit different from what we expected, wasn't it? What do you think about the event, guys? Did you actually recommend it? No. Why not? Too busy and you have to pay for everything. Well, I felt ill as well as soon as I came out. For some reason, I don't know what happened to me. I just suddenly like... I think it was like down. the shock of being in a place. I thought it was shock. Yeah. Many yeah, true. It was honestly. How many people did they attend? That was 60,000, they said. 60,000 people went there, but I didn't honestly think it was that great. But Patrick got um, his poster and he got a picture with a very famous MMA fighter that I don't know. Um, what's, it, what's his name? Uh, Khabib. Khabib, yeah. He's just too busy stuffing his face at the moment, so it's just not interesting. <laughs> Actually, nice surprise. It turns out that we ordered um, drinks, but they were actually two for one. So look how many we actually have now. It's gonna be a heavy night, probably, especially for us because we are lightweight. <laughs> Literally, probably two of these will do me for the night. I'll just be like already. Um, so it's a good job that we're having some food with it as well.